welcome to ecotechy in my previous video i have explained theoretically the idea of logistic regression and how to derive the equation for logistic regression in today's video we are going into the coding section we are going to see how to code for logistic regression for this i have taken the wine quality data set from the kaggle website the link to the data set will be provided in the description below so now let us start by first importing the necessary libraries import numpy as np import pandas as pd import warnings warnings dot filter warnings we are going to ignore all the warning messages now let us run this code so we have successfully imported all the necessary libraries now as i said i am going to use the wine quality data set so now i am going to import the data set so let's say df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv now let us look at the head of the data set let us understand what are the different different variables in the data set so df dot head now let us run this so our data frame looks something like this we have fixed acidity volatile acidity citric acid residual sugar chlorides free sulfur dioxide total sulfur dioxide intensity sorry density ph sulfates alcohol and lastly we have the quality so by looking at this data you would have got a slight idea about what exactly we are going to do we have learned that logistic regression although they say logistic regression it is a classification problem so over here our problem statement is to identify how is the quality of the wine so if you see all our independent variables are all the columns except for the quality and our quality is the dependent variable now using all these independent variable we are going to decide the quality of y so now let us divide our data into x and y so our x is equal to bf dot i look i need all the rows and i need all the columns except the last column so i write 0 to minus 1 and for y what will it be y is equal to df dot i look i need all the rows and i only need the last column and we have studied in our indexing method that the last column is nothing but the minus 1 now let us run this now we have successfully divided our data set into x and y the next step is model selection or train test split now let us perform train test split from sklearn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split now we write x train x test y train y test is equal to train underscore test underscore split x comma y test underscore size is equal to 0.3 you can take test size according to your wish i am taking 0.3 I am initiating a random state so that your values and my values would remain the same. Random underscore state is equal to one. Now let us run this code. 
So we have successfully divided our data into the training data and testing data. Now we have to model logistic regression. To be very clear, all models have the same pattern. It follows the same four steps. The first step, we are calling the model. The second step is to create an object of the model. The third step is to fit the model. And the last and final step is to predict. So let's do that. From alone dot linear underscore model import logistic regression. Now the next step is to create an object. Let's call it logreg is equals to logistic regression. So our object is ready. Now we are going to fit our model. Logreg dot fit. We are going to fit over X train and Y train. X train, Y train. And finally, we are going to predict by pred is equals to logrec dot predict. We are going to predict over x test. Now, let us run this code. So, we do not have any errors. We have successfully imported our model, fitted our model and predicted. Now, by just predicting we do not know the accuracy of it. Like why should people believe in you? So to make people believe in your study, you have to have an accuracy score. So from metrics import accuracy underscore score. Now we write print f accuracy underscore score is accuracy underscore score. We are going to find the accuracy score between y test and y bread. y test comma y bread. Now let us run this code. So, we have got an accuracy score of 60%. What does this imply? Only 60% of the time, whatever we have predicted and whatever actually is the quality are one and the same. So, this is a pretty low accuracy score. In my future videos, I will show you hyperparameter tuning of logistic regression how exactly we can improve the accuracy score for a logistic regression model. I hope the idea of logistic regression, the theory behind it, the derivation of logistic regression, now the code of logistic regression is clear for one and all. Do like, share and subscribe to the Ecotechy. If you have any queries regarding logistic regression, Feel free to post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.